Hi everyone, it's Sarazen again. I hope you're doing well. In our last video, we went through the DLP predicates and actions that you could take for using Exchange email as your location. For this video, I just want to focus on SharePoint sites as well as OneDrive accounts, but also split them up as they do have different configurations you can use in your policies. So to move forward, I'm just going to deselect Exchange email, select SharePoint sites, and jump on over into, of course, creating our customized advanced DLP rules. All right, so now we're going to jump on over here. We're going to give it a name, which is going to be my name again, just for the purposes of this exercise. I want to go ahead and click on Add Conditions. And as you'll see, we have Content Contains, File Extension is, Document Created By. We have quite a few different predicates here or conditions here based off of SharePoint itself. And one thing I did want to show you as you kind of take a look at all these different conditions is that we also have the ability to, let me just, for instance, add in a specific label here for now. Also do multiple conditions using the and or um, operator here. It's a great way to add more configurations, more, more power to you in creating these policies for your daily loss prevention as you're not just limited to having a specific set of these different conditions, but you're also able to just build upon it and have a lot more granular control that just wasn't available before. And so you can see that you're able to add even more and have a, a different combination of the and or or in this environment um, just to ensure that your situation in this case does make sense. Now, jumping over on the action side, we are fairly similar to what we had for a bit now, uh, with the exception of the fact that you know, we're also able to, for certain, certain folks, be able to block some of the people who are given access to the content using the anyone with the link option here. So these are the different things that you're able to do. Um, my favorite part is just this opportunity to add in several and or conditions. That way you can have a little bit more, again, of, of, you know, that control too. So you can build upon this significantly more by just including this ability to have the any of these up here with all of these and just be able to do a little bit more in your configuration as well. And moving forward, of course, it's the same situation as the other video too, that when you move forward, please do go ahead and um, configure the policy to be in test mode. That way you're not turning it on for your entire environment. So here we have a very quick run through of some of those conditions and actions that you can take with SharePoint. Now, we're going to jump back a little bit here into our overall locations. Deselect the SharePoint sites and jump on over to OneDrive and then, of course, move forward to that rule set again and being able to create the specific rules. If you move over to the conditions, you can see that it's a little bit different uh, from the SharePoint site. So I know a lot of people say that they're very similar. They are, but in terms of the different policies that you are able to do within the Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal, there you have a just a couple more um, connections, excuse me, conditions that you're able to use in this case too. So having that ability here really does help with trying to figure out you know, the different ways that you can have that granular control and be able to, of course, take these actions within your environment as well. So wanted to add these configurations here and also show that you can do the and or here as well. Again, promoting the fact that you have these um, more of this control that you just didn't have before. Now, moving from the conditions, we're going to jump on over to the actions here. The actions are, you know, just being able to do the same things as your SharePoint sites, being able to block everyone, block only people outside your organization, or just block people who are given access to the content using the end one with the link option. So these are just some of the different things that you are able to do and at the different rule sets that we can create based off of the conditions as well as the actions. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and just save this for now. And like I said before, when we move forward to just please, please, please use the test it out functionality first so that you're not turning this policy on for the entire um, environment for that matter. 
So thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful day.